let's bring you some major developments coming in from the United States as the U.S. Supreme Court has delivered split opinions in two cases over whether President Donald Trump can shield his tax records from investigators or not. Adding a win to the Manhattan District Attorney, the court says that President Trump's financial records can be examined by prosecutors in New York. However, in a related case, rejecting the parallel efforts of Democrats, the court rules that this information does not have to be shared with the U.S. Congress. With this decision, the court has also rejected Donald Trump and his lawyer's argument that he enjoys total immunity while in office. The ruling returns no clear prospect for when the case might ultimately be resolved. Donald Trump, on the other hand, has described the two U.S. Supreme Court rulings concerning his financial records as hoax and political witch hunt. Well, the rulings were basically starting all over again, sending everything back down to the lower courts, and you start all over again. And so uh, from a certain point, um, satisfied. From another point, I'm not satisfied, because, frankly, uh, this is a political witch hunt, the likes of which nobody's ever seen before. It's a pure witch hunt. It's a hoax, just like the Mueller investigation was a hoax that I won. And this is another hoax. This is purely political. Cases have been filed in order to determine whether current conflict of interest laws on a U.S. president are tough enough or not. Donald Trump, on the other hand, denies wrongdoing and has called the investigation into his tax affairs a political persecution. Trump has been more secretive with his finances than any other president in decades, refusing to release his tax records to the public even as he mounts a bid for re-election. As the U.S. presidential elections are scheduled for November this year, the timing of the lower court's decision will have a decisive impact on Trump's poll campaign. The decisions mark the first time that the nation's highest court has directly ruled on a matter involving Trump's personal dealings. Two Democrat-controlled House of Representatives committees and a New York district attorney who also is also a Democrat have demanded several years' records of Trump's taxes. For more details and a perspective, uh, for now, we're joined in by our correspondent, Jagati Davi, who's joining me live from Washington, D.C. at this hour. Jagati, a very good morning to you. Now, considering it's a split decision, will it be safe to say that the Supreme Court rulings on Donald Trump today have arrived as a double-edged sword? Also, is there any clarity in terms of how soon can one expect the finances to be released? Well, observers, observers of this ruling are saying that um, it's uh, unlikely that the uh, tax records will be um, released to the public, at least if a view, any time before the elections. Um, the uh, the case is being, um, at least with Congress, is being returned to the lower courts. And there, there's likely to be further hearings and appeals, and Congress has to um, change the focus of their um, requests for the, docu for the documents into the president's um, tax records. They mm -hmm. have to narrow their scope somewhat. Um, and uh, that is going to t likely to take uh, months. Um, and indeed, even the um, prosecutors, the, the, um, the, the documents that the prosecutors in New York have asked for, that as well is unlikely to be uh, made public, at least un until after, if this indeed happens, that charges are made. So that is also unlikely to happen before the November election, many commentators are saying, again, because of the the time it will take in order for those proceedings to take place. So whilst, yes, this is um, clearly a challenge and for, for President Trump in the run-up to the election, that the fact that the Supreme Court has said that he as president is not above criminal subpoenas, in terms of what the public can see, um, the public is unlikely to really see anything before ahead of the elections. Right. Um Considering the elections are due in November, as you rightly mentioned, what could possibly be Donald Trump's next move? What are the predictions being made by legal experts in terms of Trump's next legal move? Well, in terms of the um, hearing, as you uh, played that clip of the president, he is sort of saying that he is satisfied because the case has been taken to the lower court. Um, and so uh, in that sense, um, the de that there is not going to be any sort of immediate release to the public. Um, but in terms of his next move, it's... Um, 
it's it's clearly uh, that his focus is going to be on um, the uh, election ahead. It is on the reopening of the economy. This is something some commentators said that this is uh, an event. This motion is a it means that um, Joe Biden, his Democratic rival, um, is able to use this as a means to attack the president um, as both uh, campaigns get underway in the run up to the election. Um, but really, some commentators are also saying that um, politics is so divided and divisive in the United States that unless something really explosive is brought forward to the public that they can visibly see, this is unlikely to change um, people's minds or have any kind of significant impact in terms of the psyche of voters leading up to the election. Uh, the, comparis the comparison can be made with the impeachment of President Trump, which didn't really change um, the minds of those who were supporting the president and those who opposed him. Um, and so it seems that the president is going to continue calling these investigations a witch hunt and a hoax, and he will continue any campaigning, as will Joe Biden in the run-up uh, to November. Absolutely, and perhaps they'll help Donald Trump in buying some time also till November. Also, should we now expect any renewed efforts from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats in Congress regarding their subpoenas for Trump's financial record? Well, they are going to um, go through the process in the lower courts. Um, Nancy Pelosi, Maxine Waters, another Democrat, has been talking about um, the, how this uh, is, is a process, a step forward for them. Um, so clearly, Democrats are not going to stop um, their uh, seeking uh, access to, to these records. Their, what they wanted was actually far broader in scope, the amount of records, the kinds of records that they wanted. And um, the Supreme Court has said that um, whilst uh, the, the Congress can scrutinize the president, their oversight is not limitless. Um, they, they don't have sort of limitless access to the president in that way, but they clearly will go back and try to um, rethink, refocus their efforts um, to get access to some of these documents. Absolutely. We'll have to wait and watch how this situation pans out for now. Thank you so much, Agatha, for bringing us all those latest.